West Warwick students rushed to the hospital after getting hit by a car while riding their bikes home from school. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. It happened this afternoon at the corner of Main Street and West Warwick Ave. Kayla Fish joins us with why some say this intersection is dangerous. Kayla? Workers at the business on the corner here tell me they've seen drivers get cut off or have close calls at this intersection before, but nothing this serious. Being a girl, find a bad news button. Nothing involving kids or anything getting hit. David Courier works for Joyles Liquors in West Warwick, near the corner of Main Street and West Warwick Avenue. It's here where police say three boys, ages 12 through 13, were hit by a car on Monday. So you jumped that island and hit three kids. I mean, that's pretty crazy. It happened around 1.30 p.m. Surveillance video from the liquor store shows the boys coming to the intersection. They then enter the crosswalk with their bikes to cross over West Warwick Avenue. Drivers on Main Street can be seen turning left onto West Warwick Ave when a black car driving the other direction appears to swerve to avoid a turning vehicle. It's at that moment the black car drives onto the median and crashes into the kids. They were rushed to Hasbro Children's Hospital and police say while two were seriously hurt, all are expected to survive. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, these kids always over around here too. There's a school down the street over there. The superintendent of West Warwick Schools says the boys are students at the Quinn School about half a mile away. We're told supports will be available for students and staff at the school on Tuesday. They're always on the bikes around here. But this intersection is horrible. Courier wasn't here when the crash happened, but says this area can be dangerous. This is a bad intersection. Very busy, busy all the time. Usually around 3 o'clock to like 7 o'clock, you slam packed that road down here and all the way over here. It's crazy. Now, police tell us the driver remained at the scene and is cooperating with the investigation. No word yet on whether charges will be filed. In West Warwick, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.